This video covers Meritor's preferred service repair procedure for the carrier to housing joint on 140, 14X, and 160 series drive axles. During any service repair that requires the removal of the carrier from the axle housing, the carrier to housing joint must be resealed. The carrier to housing joint, while very robust, is a working joint with great torque constantly being induced. In recent years, increased lower engine RPM torque and faster gear set ratios both have attributed to leaks at the carrier to housing joint seal. Meritor has improved the joint by installation of tapered dials into production on 14X axles in October of 2014. Continued research has brought us to determine the needs for an improved field service solution to sealing of the carrier to housing joint. Meritor now recommends the use of gaskets for service repairs on the 140, 14X, and 160 series drive axles. RTV is still used in production. This video is a summary of TP20152 and it should be thoroughly read and followed step by step to ensure a properly sealed carrier to housing joint seal is achieved. So why do leaks occur at the carrier to housing joint and why is the gasket a better field repair? First is cleanliness. The gasket is less susceptible to leaks due to residue left on the sealing surfaces. Second, issues with the housing and carrier flatness from prior repairs. The gasket is a more forgiving and allows for up to five thousandths of an inch of housing flatness irregularity. Third, improper fastener torque. Fourth, welding too close to the carrier to housing joint. The gasket has limited chance of damage due to high heat from any welding near the joint. Fifth, tapered dowels not installed in an older or a replacement carrier. There are a few other reasons why the gasket is better for service repairs. First, no curing time is required with a gasket installation. Sealing is not affected by lube across the gasket during installation. Third, the gasket has no hurry up time during installation for setting up, as with RTV sealant. And finally, field testing of the gasket has provided a much higher durability in field service carrier to housing reseals. When we start the process, the carrier must be removed completely from the axle housing to install the one-piece gasket. If the gasket is damaged in installation, a rapid loss of oil can occur and could cause a failed carrier. A gasket cannot be cut to be installed, nor can it be sealed by using RTV at the cut area of a gasket. A new gasket must be used and the gasket must be installed as a one-piece installation. There are additional tools needed to perform a Meritor gasket installation. First, a machinist straight edge to check both the carrier and axle housing for flatness. Second, a five thousandths of an inch feeler gauge to use with a straight edge. Third, a five eighths by 11 bottoming tap. Fourth, and most importantly, you will need two five eighths by 11 bolts, either 12 or 14 inches long to be used as guide studs. This prevents the gasket from being damaged during carrier installation. Parts needed for the gasket installation are, first, Meritor gaskets. Refer to TP20152 for the proper gasket part number. Gaskets are sold in packages of 10. Second, you will need a Meritor fastener kit. You will again refer to TP20152 for the proper fastener kit part number. The kit can be purchased with or without dowels. Included is one green 3M roll-lock cleaning disc. Fasteners must have dry lock on the threads for proper sealing. The kit also contains a tube of RTV sealant. The RTV is to be used only if the gasket is not being used. Do not install any RTV on any surface of the gasket during or after the gasket installation. Third, you will need a spray can of Permatex high tech gasket spray adhesive. Fourth, if needed, additional 3M green Rolock cleaning disc may be required if excessive cleaning is found necessary of the axle housing or carrier. Do not use regular abrasive cleaning disc on the axle housing 
or carrier mounting surfaces. Now we'll move on to the pre-carrier installation and axle housing checks. First, using Furnish 3M Green Rolock Disc, thoroughly remove all prior sealant or gasket from axle housing and carrier flanges. Do not use normal abrasive type Rolox disc. Housing flatness due to abrasive cleaning wheels will distort the surfaces being cleaned. Second, Using a machinist straight edge and a 5 thousandths inch feeler gauge, check both the axle housing and carrier mounting flanges for flatness. If more than 5 thousandths of an inch of irregularity is found at any point around either mounting surface, use of the gasket is not recommended. Contact Meritor on track at 866-668-7221 or your Meritor Region Service Manager for assistance. Third, using a 5 8 inch by 11 bottoming tap, insert and run the tap completely through each of the axle housing fastener mounting holes to clean and remove any prior dry lock thread adhesive from the prior fasteners installed. Using shop air, clean the holes to remove any debris after the tap is used in all holes. Fourth, Using spray brake clean or carb cleaner, clean the carrier and axle housing surfaces and let air dry. Fifth, using either 12 inch or 14 inch, 5 8 inch by 11 studs, fully thread the studs in at as near possible the three and nine o'clock positions of the axle housing. Bolts with a smooth shank are best. Threaded rod will not work as the carrier will not slide on the threads of the threaded rod. Additionally, the all thread rod will generally bend and can become a safety hazard. Sixth, if the carrier was equipped with tapered dowels, it is highly recommended by Meritor to reinstall the tapered dowels. Tapered dowels greatly reduces carrier micro movement in the axle housing. Meritor offers a tooling kit to install tapered dowels in carriers that do not have them. If needed, contact Meritor on track for assistance. Now that we've reviewed all the tools and parts, let's move to the gasket preparation and installation. First, obtain a piece of cardboard or similar material that can be discarded that is as large as a gasket. Second, inspect the gasket for any tears or damage. If any irregularity is found, obtain a new gasket you will see that the gasket is printed with Meritor on one side and spray adhesive this side on the other. Third, using the Permatex high-tack spray adhesive and having the gasket positioned on a disposable cardboard or similar material, evenly coat the side of the gasket marked spray adhesive this side with one coat of high-tack spray adhesive. Fourth, go under the truck and evenly spray a coat of the Permatex high tack spray adhesive to the axle housing surface. Allow both the gasket and axle housing sprayed surfaces to become tacky from the previously sprayed on high tack adhesive. Sixth, use care to install the gasket over the guide studs on the axle housing. Start at the top and accurately locate the holes in the gasket with the fastener holes in the axle housing. Make sure to fully secure the gasket. If the gasket becomes damaged or torn at installation, remove and start again using a new gasket. Do not spray any high tech or apply any sealant of any kind to the Meritor printed side of the gasket. Once the gasket is installed, it's time to install the carrier. First, using suitable lifting equipment, raise the carrier and position it onto the long guide studs previously installed on the axle housing. Second, visually inspect the gasket to ensure no damage or problem has occurred during the positioning of the carrier under the vehicle onto the guide studs. Third, once the carrier is correctly located onto the long guide studs, 
evenly push the carrier towards the axle housing along the guide studs until it is properly positioned in the axle housing. Prior to fully seating the carrier, recheck the gasket for any possible damage that may have occurred in the carrier installation. Use of short studs can cause the gasket to be torn due to the edge of the carrier contacting the gasket. Long studs prevent such from occurring. Fourth, secure the carrier using new fasteners from the purchase fastener kit. Install the tapered dowel locations first using the proper length fastener as noted in TP20152 with the taper dowel on the fastener. Fifth, install the remaining new fasteners and tighten to 225 foot-pounds using a torque wrench in a crisscross pattern. Recheck all fasteners for proper torque. Sixth, finish carrier and axle installation and top off with lube. No waiting time is required to fill the axle with lube. Seven, test drive the unit and return. Inspect the gasket for any leaks and top off with lube as needed. In closing, we recommend reading TP20152 for complete installation instructions. And remember, you can always contact Meritor OnTrack at 866-668-7221.